Happy New Year, and welcome to January 1, 2015. Um, this is the first in a series of commentaries, uh, either by myself or by my co-host, co Chip Camara. Um, they will be airing on YouTube and on Facebook on a regular basis. Um, this is the first in a s series of these, uh, and as you can tell by our backdrop here, <laughs> this is a whole new effort. Um, we're pu I'm putting together a new studio here in my home, and there will also be our regular studio and our dungeon, for the lack of a better expression. Uh, Spindle City Straight Talk has become a new source for a lot of Fall River, and a commentary was actually necessary. First off, Fall River has begun 2015 with a bang. A young man was murdered at 1 o'clock this morning, um, and I find it totally unacceptable. And we need support of the people of Fall River and of our mayor uh, and supporting our Fall River Police Department. Uh, this type of behavior by people just is unacceptable. And we can't have it and we can't handle it. Um, I think with time we will find that it will get better if we all take part in being part of the solution and not part of the problem. Um, but my commentary today, uh, beyond the fact that we've started the year off with such a bang uh, and a great loss, and my sympathies go out to the family of uh, the victim, and um, my family does know this victim, uh, but out of respect for them, I'm not saying the victim's name at this point in time until all the family has been notified. Although by viewing Facebook, I, I think it's pretty... <laughs> pretty accurate right now that, that it's out there. Um, so it should be interesting to see what happens uh, from our police investigation. But I want to talk about something that I guess Fall River has lacked for a number of months now in 2014. Um, and I only bring this up because my phone rang off the hook today talking about it, and I was kind of upset about it, to say the least. But... Um, it is what it is, and oh, please don't shoot me, my friend with the PhD, for saying that. I know you hate that comment, um, but uh, Fall River has lacked, and it's not the entire city, but a good portion of the people that were involved in a historical event here in Fall River um, somehow or another got misguided or started following a different path, which we all eventually do. Um, and what's needed is civility. It's something we're lacking in Fall River. Um, and we've been lacking it for a long time. I mean, you see it on the roads, um, when people are driving along, everybody thinks they have to run away. Nobody can stop for a pedestrian. You know, civility goes a long way. And don't get me wrong. I have been one of the most uncivil people, um, ever imaginable. Uh, and that's going to be difficult to change, but I plan on working on it this year as well as working on several other issues that I have. But we need to stop focusing on civility. Um, what happened during this historic event over the past year, um, known as the recall, um, for me, um, was something I believed in. Uh, but more importantly, to those people that may have been offended by me, um, it was a job. Business is business, personal is personal, never the twain shall meet. And I can go after you with all guns blaring when it comes to a job, when it comes to a political effort, when it comes to saying something that needs to be said, um, or even doing something that needs to be done. But after I'm done, I can go out with you and say, hey, let's grab a drink. Let's see what we can do. And let's go somewhere. Uh, that's not always easy. But it is what it is. And uh, I know you're going to kill me, Stephanie. <laughs> but, um, you know, for 2015, let's all try to come together. Let's all try to be a little civil for each other. Let's try to make Fall River better. And even if you have what you might think is the dumbest idea in the world, 
bring it forward. Talk to the people about it. Talk to your city council. Talk to your school committee members. Talk to the mayor. And say, look, this is an idea I had. Maybe this is something Fall River can benefit from. Maybe this is something we can do. But we won't know until we hear it. But let's be civil about it. If they don't take it, it doesn't mean you're stupid or you're wrong. It just means that they don't think they want to go with that. Um, but that doesn't mean you have to stop. Because guess what? You can still go with it, even if they don't want you to go with it. So remember that as well. There is no such thing as a bad idea. The only bad idea is the idea that is not explored. And I may, you know, I may have said to you through many political campaigns, and I can think of one person off the top of my head where I said, do yourself a favor now. Stop running for office. Um, I learned that the hard way. I, uh, I learned to stop running for office when I found that the people of Fall River just couldn't see themselves into electing somebody who has a different outlook on life or a different appearance or a different way of seeing it. Um, so, you know, it's not always personal. But I can tell you this. You know, as much as I look around and I get depressed and I say, why am I staying here? I can always find a little something somewhere that brings a tear to my eye or says Fall River is with it, worth it. But you know what? The civility needs to come back. Okay? When this whole process started some four, five months ago, everybody was a friend. A friend you hadn't met even in some cases. Um, but unless the attacks stop, not only amongst different groups, but amongst the city in general, Fall River won't change. Fall River will just keep getting worse. It's time for us to pull together. It's time for us to be civil to each other. There's no way you can be in that much of a hurry that you can't stop for a stoplight or turn around and say, hey, you know what? I think I've got to uh, brush past this woman and, and hit her with my car. Uh, <laughs> that, that's kind of scary when I think about it. But, you know... Who am I? I'm I'm nobody. You know, I'm just I'm just a guy with a camera um, who gets an opportunity to open his mouth on a regular basis. Uh, I don't know how good that is. I don't know how bad that is. But I can tell you that sometimes it's just a relief, a relief to say what I'm feeling. Um, you may not like it. I may not like it. Hey, you don't like it? That's okay. I don't have a problem with that. But remember that we make our world, and Fall River needs to start making its. Um, you know, I looked at the paper today, and I looked at what some of the reporters are saying may happen for Fall River, and they're saying we have an opioid problem and we need to face it. You know what? If I hear somebody else call drug addiction a disease, I'm going to scream. You know what a disease is? A disease is cancer. A disease is diabetes. A disease is HIV. A disease is lupus. Those are diseases. Alcoholism and drug addiction is not a disease. Alcoholism and drug addiction is a choice. And when you choose to abuse yourself with those drugs, nobody can help you. You have to. But that's where the civility comes in. Let's help each other to get to where we need to be in this time. Because life's too short. And you don't know if you're going to be here one minute to the next. I'm CJ Ferry. And this is the first of what I hope is many more commentaries from my little dungeon here in Fall River. Happy New Year, everybody.